Joining us to discuss, Mark Spicer, CEO of the Osprey Group USA and an FBI expert witness. Also, Derek Maltz, a former DEA special ops agent. Good to see you both today, this Monday morning. Derek, I'll start with you. What do you make of the scene that unfolded at the Capitol and the chaos that ensued? Well, first of all, my condolences go out to the Sick Nick family. Uh, unfortunately, too many officers are dying in the line of duty. Law and order must be a priority. Violators must be held accountable to the full extent of the law. Too many people feel they're above the law. We seem to have a two-tier system of justice in America. We watch the looting, the stealing, the burning, the assaults over the summer. None of the politicians came out to condemn those actions. So people just sometimes feel they can get away with this. We need to stand strong. We need to unite and stop this madness in America. It can't happen. Absolutely. Condemning all the violence that we have seen uh, throughout the summer months and, of course, up until last Wednesday as well. But, Mark, it makes you wonder, did these officers have all of the resources that they needed to deal with these crowds? It seemed as though they were easily overtaken. Where was the preparation here? Well, they, they clearly didn't have everything they needed, and there, there appears to be a massive breakdown in the, in the preparation for this. Any large incident like this would involve multiple agencies, as it did, uh, which included the Army and the National Guard being deployed, which would have meant there should have been a coordinating conference, an overall commander, or at the very least, an overall command centre with all of the bosses for each of the agencies involved in one place to facilitate quick decisions and a quick response. Now, considering what happened and what should have been the most secure building in the country was so easily overrun, that clearly did not happen. Now, they, if, you, if you look at the troop aspect and say, well, there's enough of a, of a risk to involve National Guard being in the city at that stage anyway, then my question would be, why wasn't there a quick reaction force, a QRF, um, kept out of sight because a, a visual heavy military presence can be provocative? but in a position where they could have responded immediately on command of a central command location, which, which didn't happen. And as I said, you saw the most secure building um, in our country overrun very, very quickly. We've seen uh, since Wednesday, some of these people have been recognized. Some of them have been arrested as well. We'll wait and see uh, what sort of charges they face. But Derek, it does make you wonder what sort of message would this event have sent to any of our foreign adversaries who would, who would take note of, of how easy it was, how easy it appeared to be to take over the Capitol, which, which ho housed all of our, our top elected officials. Right. I mean, we have to stop the defend, the, uh, the fund, the police rhetoric, right? The politicians must provide law enforcement the tools, the technology, and the authorities to keep Americans safe, right? In law enforcement right now, in the current political climate, there are too many bosses that are way more concerned about the optics and the politics and their self-serving agendas than making the right decisions to keep people safe. The brave men and women on the front lines are doing their job with limited support, not just from the mainstream media and the politicians, but these agency officials, these leaders, they are way too concerned about the optics. So we have a situation that law enforcement is going to continue to do their job despite lack of support. It does show weakness around the world when America operates like a third world country. We have very professional law enforcement agencies. And with the inauguration coming up, I have the utmost confidence in the Secret Service and the Department of Homeland Security to do the right thing. They will protect the inauguration just like they've protected all these national security events for 20 years. The Super Bowls, I was personally at a Super Bowl in 2008, and I was so impressed by the security. So the world needs to know we have the best and brightest officials in this country. They will do the job despite the weaknesses in our system with the politicians and also the people that are way more self-serving and concerned about the optics. That's unacceptable. Public safety must be a top priority. Our hearts go out to the officers, Brian Sicknick and Howard Liebengood. And Mark, as, as Derek was talking about preparing for the inauguration, what do you anticipate law enforcement doing to accurately prepare for what could play out? And what would be potentially some signs that officers would look out for to make sure that this did not happen again? 
Well, first of all, I'd say Derek is 100% right. This isn't the officers on the ground's fault. This is a command failure. This is people at the top who made the wrong decisions or didn't make the right decisions because, as Derek says, they're too worried about the optics. They're too worried about opinions. This is about protection. This is about doing it right. And this is about allowing the officers to have the tools to do their job. They stand on the front line um, of our cities very bravely every day. Um, and, and I 100% agree, this defund the police thing it needs to go away. It, it's ridiculous. I can't believe it was even suggested. Now, as far as the major incidents concerned, the Secret Service have a, a phenomenal reputation for protection. The agencies that will work with them uh, will do a great job, and I have no doubt whatsoever that they will combine this time and do an amazing job. What they're looking for in the crowd is they're looking for instigators, they're looking for people that are reacting different to others, maybe a conglomeration of people meeting in certain areas, or probes to try and find weaknesses in, in the actual perimeter defences. But the defence will be laid out very much like, like an onion, like the different layers, and each layer will have another layer behind it to delay and stop any, any known threat. The Secret mm -hmm. Service are extremely good at this. I don't foresee them having any problems whatsoever. All right, let's hope so. appreciate both of your uh, analysis this morning. Mark Spicer and Derek Maltz, thank you both so much. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.